Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss the use of near-infrared spectroscopy in pharmaceutical manufacturing. NIR spectroscopy has long been used in the pharmaceutical industry for incoming raw material identity testing, as well as for quantitative analysis and content uniformity testing. NIR is popular because it's non-destructive, fast, and requires minimal to no sample preparation. Our Nearflex N500 system has been an essential tool for pharmaceutical QC labs for decades. The N500 system has a fancy Fourier transform interferometer that generates high quality spectral data. This data can be used in a calibration model to deliver qualitative or quantitative measurements with high precision based on the attenuation of light by the molecules within a sample. The N500 also checks all the boxes for pharmacopoeia compliance and other things your data officers care about. The system has four plug-and-play sampling modules to choose from to best fit your application and optimize method accuracy. I'll give you a rundown of each one starting with the solids module. With this module, we're working with diffuse reflectance. Simply put, the module works by directing light at the sample. The light gets scattered and absorbed by the sample, and some is reflected and captured by the detector. It is then processed and run through the calibration where it's turned into a sample measurement we care about, like sample identity. The solids module offers a wealth of add-on accessories to make the measurement process as simple and accurate as possible. There are several types of dishes, one of which is the robust cup, which can survive accident-prone colleagues and are designed to be used in glass-restricted areas. This cover is what we call our XL add-on. It fits right on the solids module and enables you to measure your material in a sample cup or even right through a plastic bag. For those needing higher sample throughput, there is also an option for a six-position auto sampler for measuring materials in glass vials. The solids module is arguably the most versatile module we offer, and it also gives you the capacity to be able to work with liquids. All you have to do is add this handy little transflectance cover to a sample cup containing anything from a clear liquid to a semi-solid. The cover has a reflective metal surface and little legs. These features provide a fixed path length, enabling a simple transflectance measurement. While on the topic of liquids, let's hop over to the liquids module, which comes standard with a six-position auto sampler for cuvettes or vials. This liquids module works by the principle of transmission, where we collect light that passes through a sample rather than what's being reflected. Because the distance the light travels is fixed, you can reach a lower limit of quantification than you can by measuring liquids on a solids module. Another important feature is its ability to control temperature which is especially important for consistency of measurements as well as dealing with more viscous samples. If the thought of sample preparation is too much to bear, the N500 also has fiber optic solids and liquids modules for analysis. This means you can measure directly in drums or bags. If going from bag to bag makes you squeamish, sample with a cup first and measure into the cup instead. The length of the fiber optic cabling can be 2, 3, or 5 meters, meaning the sampling point can be up to 5 meters away from the instrument itself. The fiber optic solids probe operates by diffuse reflection, the same principle as the solids module. And also, like the solids module, you can add a transflectance adapter to measure liquids with a range of path lengths including 0.5, 1, or 1.5 millimeters. But wait, there's more. We also have a solids transmission module specifically designed for measuring individual tablets or capsules. This module uses the principle of diffuse transmission where NIR light penetrates the sample from one side and is diffracted and or reflected to the detector from the other. The advantage here is that we're getting measurement that is representative of the entire sample cross-section of the intact dosage form enabling accurate content uniformity testing for APIs and even excipients. There are sample wheels for different tablet shapes and sizes with 10 or 30 position options. I hope this has been an informative look at the Buki Nearflex N500 and how it can be used in the pharmaceutical industry. 
If you have any questions, comments, insults, or interests, you can reach our team at us-sales at Thanks for watching and see you next time.